Today, we're gonna find out if I have what it takes to become the next Dutch national futsal keeper. This is Manuel Kuyk, and he is currently the goalkeeper of the National Dutch Futsal Team. He currently plays for a team called Club Futsal Eindhoven, located in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. And they are one of 16 teams that plays at the highest level of professional futsal here in the Netherlands. And today, he's going to be showing me the ropes of futsal keeping to find out if I have what it takes to become the next Dutch futsal keeper. Also with us today is Arjan Heerland, and he's the national team's goalkeeper coach. He's going to be taking us through a few drills that he usually does with Manuel. And at the end of this video, he's going to tell us if I have what it takes to become the next Dutch national futsal keeper. Also, only 2.7% of you guys that watch my videos are currently subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button to stick around for more awesome content. So we're not in an indoor pitch. We are on the field today, but we are doing futsal training. So we don't need the goalkeeper gloves. Doing it with bare hands today. All right, because we are doing futsal training today, we're playing with a different ball as well. So here's a normal football and this is a futsal ball. It's much smaller and it doesn't bounce as much. So we'll see how we do with this one. So we started off with a warm up where Manuel and I would roll the ball into the trainer's feet and he would shoot it into our hands. This just to get our hands warmed up, get into that hand-eye coordination. And for me, also just to get used to not wearing goalkeeper gloves. After this short warm up, Arjen explained that foot movement and being light on your feet is very important as a futsal goalkeeper. So we hopped into the next exercise where movement was key. Moving from side to side in the goal and getting a ball played at both sides. So Manuel quickly showed me what I had to do and then I hopped in and got to work. Is where we leave. getting into the tougher stuff now we did a bit of a warming up the next exercise we're going to be doing we're gonna have a ball from the side one touch pass back and reposition quickly towards the center of the goal and you're gonna block a shot and in futsal you do a lot of work with your legs as opposed to normal football where you use your hands a bit more so that's really what we're gonna try to get into is what you do mostly really stretch that leg out and get the block set I'm not very flexible so I'm gonna see how well I can do with Let's this. Let's give it a try. We're going to find out how I can do it. Alright. Didn't even get to cross. Alright, so Manuel had shown us what had to be done. Now was my turn to give it a go. Alright, so I'm not as flexible as Manuel and the first couple tries didn't go as well. But eventually, I did get it down. And of course, after we'd worked our left side, we'd have to work our right side as well. Okay, let's just take one moment to appreciate the flexibility this guy has. Look at the spread and how big he can make himself in this goal. Unbelievable. start doing some yoga or something because all right i can definitely feel it's so much more different than goalkeeping in general i'm not flexible at all i really need to work on that you can see in manuel he's very flexible and he can really put that leg out there to get the block going because in foot so you don't have the time to go for a dive or to hold onto the ball you have to make yourself as big as possible and that's what he does very well so hopefully i can kind of get into it and get better time to go into the next exercise let's go for this next exercise, Aryan took out his paddle racket. He would smash three balls at us from close distance, then we would have to reposition to the center of the goal quickly and block one full power shot. So after Manuel had given us a demonstration of how it's supposed to be done, it was my turn to hop in. You are 
enjoying this video guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it does help me out let's move on the next drill we're going to be doing Aryan's going to take a shot parry it to one side and then you're going to go straight into the 1v1 situation make yourself big block the ball as well as you can see how we do <laughs> Getting better. It's still, the block is something very difficult for me because of the flexibility, but slowly getting there. All right, next exercise we're gonna do five balls in a row. Orange is gonna smash them at us, which is normal in futsal. You get balls smashed at you at ridiculous speeds. Five balls in a row. Block them as fast as you can. See how many out of five we can block. Let's do it. All right, so we've had most of the basics of futsal goalkeeper training, a lot of reflex stuff, a lot of blocking. Now we're going to go to a penalty shootout between me and Manuel. 10 meter penalties. See how we do. Let's go. All right, penalty shootout, Manuel. Three penalties each. How many are you going to score? You're going to score all three? Two. No, you're going to score two? All right. Let's do rock, paper, scissors to see who starts. start. I start. I'm going to start in goal. So I'm going to let you oh, shoot okay. first. Good. As a futsal goalkeeper, in futsal penalties, you're allowed to come five meters in front of your goal. So you can definitely see him try to set the block there. Just wasn't good enough this time. Penalty if I score I win. He's already on the five meter line, it's in he's, he's getting in my head. Alright, let's finish this. Alright, that was it. How did I do? Uh, I think very well. First balls, uh, you saw that, that, that you have to have to recognize the other balls than in uh, normal uh, football. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was very good. Yeah. What do you think, Manuel? Do I have what it takes to become a futsal goalkeeper? Oh, uh, you're a quick learner. So if you keep practicing, I think you can do it. All right. Yeah. No, as well. Thank you very much for having me and showing me the ropes of some futsal goalkeeping. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.